Greetings all, and welcome to our session with our partner, Sky Solutions. Joining us today is Tim Joseph, a human-centric design executive who will walk us through how using pattern-based design creates consistency across disparate platforms. So Tim, thank you for being a great partner and for being a part of Pega World 22. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Sky Solutions? Thanks, David. Happy to be here. I've been uh, in the PEGA ecosystem for many years across commercial and government and currently lead our human-centered design business unit with Sky Solutions. Today, I'm going to talk about creating consistency across platforms using design pattern-based development, specifically in PEGA. Well, it's outstanding because, you know, cross-platform orchestration is a really important facet of what we do. And I'm excited about seeing your solution, or at least getting a walkthrough of it here today. So please, set the stage for us. Who is Sky Solutions, and what do they do in the federal government space? Sky Solutions is an authorized PEGA partner with a delivery specialization. They also have PEGA packaged offerings on the PEGA marketplace. And they've, they've been a pillar of platform-based development for 14 years. Although we serve many government agencies, the topics today will focus on history with the IRS, the Social Security Administration, and the U.S. Census Bureau. Let's start by seeing how design patterns can apply to PEGA. Reusable design patterns, taking an address block, for example, can be considered and leveraged across every development phase, such as ideation, prototype, development, and testing. Yeah, the, an end-to-end -end perspective or an end-to-end -end applicability is really important. And so from a, a government lens, all right, so when you're discussing this design methodology with government customers or prospects, why should they consider pattern-based design? By using pattern-based design in government, the payoff is very clear. We have stronger design integrity. We can simplify our architecture. We can make our maintenance over time easier. We can improve our accessibility. We can be more compatible. And then we can also meet organization standards. Hmm. So from an operational perspective, how do you build a firm foundation from the start? Building a firm foundation starts by agreeing on what standards and goals you have as an organization and how you will execute them. For example, are you using the government standards, an agency standard, or a combination of both? What sort of assistive technology are you going to support? And what sort of patterns are you going to follow? In addition, the various roles also need to play their part from UX designers to the testers across IT, business, and the development teams. So those are, yeah, from a foundational perspective, those are really important questions to ask. But getting more granular, how do you actually build strong patterns in PEGA? Start by leveraging your center of excellence to include reusability, accessibility, and other support in your base layer and avoid wandering from that standard further up the situational layer cake. In addition, leverage design templates to maintain the pattern. On the template level, they can support and make templates flexible to support different use cases. By annotating design patterns from every angle, you can highlight to a developer how best to implement them without them needing design experience to the proper design and accessibility constraints. Using a paint by numbers approach like this helps you maximize your, your chances of a proper execution. Lastly, test on a pattern level and decide what your definition of done is across an array of criteria such as device and compatibility, accessibility, and user acceptance. Okay, excellent, Tim. So thank you for that walkthrough of, you know, it looks like a, a, it's a repeatable process with broad application across the whole of government, right? And, and for our audience today, especially those from the government perspective, can you touch on some of the benefits realized by government agencies and employees? Among the benefits realized, but they're certainly not limited to, faster citizen development adoption, improved accessibility, reduced churn across development, defects and retesting, less design cycles, and less churn and review with your stakeholders and POs to form a stronger alignment with a strict organization standard. Now that we've realized some benefits, here are some great ways to start. Determine the reusable building blocks you're going to work with, 
centralize the effort across the program, align your team members, developers, product owners, testers, and establish a method of good governance across the program. You know, Tim, I think that was a fantastic walkthrough of your solution. You know, repeatable processes, customer first questions, and how to kickstart the design process. So look, I want to thank you again for being a fantastic partner and being a presenter here at Pega World 22. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing your solution increase its uh, footprint in the government market. It was my pleasure, David. I hope this starts a conversation about pattern-based design, and I appreciate the invitation to Peg World. Outstanding. And last but not least, thanks to all of you for joining our session today. It's time to send you back to the main stage or from wherever you came from. All right. So have a great day and enjoy the rest of the show.